Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I'm your host, Mr. Munchies. And today's episode is more of a review than a lesson. Uh, let me start off by saying uh, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to pizza crust because I make my own. I've been making it for about six, seven years now, so I'm kind of spoiled that way. All right, with that being said, um, about a week ago, I had a friend of mine, Amy, send me a picture message on Facebook with a two-ingredient pizza dough recipe, okay? Um, I looked at it and said, okay, whatever. And it seems like over the past week, this uh, two-ingredient pizza dough has been popping up everywhere. So I figured that's a sign from the universe that I have to give this a try. So this is it. Uh, the two ingredients are self-rising flour and Greek yogurt. The ratios out of all the videos that I watched on YouTube were one to one. One cup of flour to one cup of yogurt. And watching these videos, I seen that the dough was a little sticky. So I did it with a cup and a quarter of flour to one cup of yogurt. The dough still came out kind of sticky, almost like a... Um, a biscuit dough, uh, so uh, kneading it, um, throwing down a little bit more flour, I'd say it probably totaled out to about a cup and a half of flour altogether. So you take the two ingredients, you take your flour, you take your yogurt, you mix it together in a bowl, um, comes out a bit of a sticky dough, like I said, like a biscuit dough, throw it out on the counter, knead it up for about two or three minutes, get everything worked in, it'll give you a ball of dough about the size of a softball. So I let it rest for about uh, five minutes and then pressed it out on a pizza pan. I wasn't gonna put my stone in the oven because that takes about an hour to preheat. Um, this is a 12 inch pan. So looking at it initially, um, I mean it, it raised up nicely in the oven. Uh, it's about you know, a good half inch thick and um, brown nicely. I put minimal toppings on there because this is going to be about the crust. Um, so it's been out of the oven now for about uh, seven, eight minutes. So I'm going to cut into it and give it a try and, and see how, yeah, it's still hot, uh, see how it tastes. That's uh, a little if to cut. Okay, so let's grab a piece here. Something's telling me I should have oiled my pan. Yeah. Looking at it, uh, it's kind of spongy. Unbiased opinion, like I said, I'm kind of spoiled from my own dough, but um, It's okay. I mean, it's got kind of a, uh, almost like a sourdough bread kind of taste to it. I guess that's because of the, uh, the plain Greek yogurt there, because that's kind of tart. Texture-wise, I mean, it's almost like a biscuit because of the uh, flour. It's not bread flour. Bread flour has a lot more proteins in it, gluten, so it's uh, it's bread. Um, this all-purpose flour is, I mean, um, self-rising flour is basically all-purpose flour with a little extra baking powder and salt in it. So, all in all, I mean, if you want quick and easy, it's okay. I mean, to me, there's no quick and easy pizza dough. My dough takes all day to make, 
I blew my yeast, proof my dough. I mean, if I want to eat by 6 o'clock, i got to start it at about noon. But, I mean, if you're going to do something like this, um, I would just, you know, if you want quick and easy, I would just stop at the grocery store and grab a, a tube of Pillsbury pizza crust. I mean, it's about the same. It's okay. If you two kids, they wouldn't know the difference. All right, so give it a try. Let me know what you think yourself. Um, I kind of hate to end the episode this way because it's really not that great, but, uh, you know, play it up and chow down.